The Amca fifth-generation fighter, which will be produced in India, is the center of attention. The next-generation Tejas Mark I and Mark II have already begun development in India, and they have incredible performance in terms of payload and capacity. India, though, is already preparing a fifth-generation fighter aircraft. The majority of countries, including the USA, Russia, and China, have developed fifth-generation fighters, however, exports are not allowed due to the cost of purchasing, maintaining, and repairing them, as well as the geopolitical environment. Now that India is focusing on developing its own fifth-generation fighter jets, HAL has developed fighter jets and helicopters that are quick, powerful, and nimble. With assistance from the ADA, NAL, and DRDO, work is underway to create the next-generation fighter plane. Making a fifth-generation fighter plane is not simple. There are some fundamental requirements that must be met, including as its stealth design, engine capacity, and modern aircraft that can launch a powerful attack against adversary aircraft. Every company involved in the construction of this aircraft needs to be strengthened and enhanced to use the most recent technology. The engine of an AMCA aircraft is a key component that distinguishes it from others. India is still working to construct its own engine, but it hasn't yet reached a satisfactory level due to the limited time available. However, India can not develop an engine that can compete with Western ones. As a result, some nations are increasing their support for the development engine. The three most popular engine manufacturers, Rolls-Royce, General Electric, and Safran, submitted proposals to AMCA. Let's study what is included in their packages. Number 1, GE from United States. For the India AMCA fifth-generation fighter program, General Electric has filed a proposal for the co-development of a new engine that will be based on the baseline 116 kN thrust derivative of the current GEF 414 engine. To offset the European and UK arrangement with India, it may be possible to ease some of the restrictions governing technology transfer in the near future. GE was denied a request to develop an engine for AMCA in 2019, but only after realizing the opportunity and demand for aircraft construction, coming from the UK and the Europe. GE has since extended its support for the initiative. The F-404IN-20 engines for the light combat aircraft Tejas MK-1 are provided by the American company GE. The MK-2LCA's F-414IN-S6 engines from the same manufacturer were chosen to power it as well. The next iteration of the fighter jet engine, which GE is expected to build, may be interested in building for AMCA aircraft. Number 2, Rolls-Royce from United Kingdom. After Safran began to present its options for India, the British corporation Rolls-Royce immediately expressed interest. The British business, which is producing engines for sixth-generation fighters like the British Tempest and the Japanese FX, is ready to work with India to meet its demand for fifth-generation engines. It has volunteered to work with the country's program for fifth-generation fighter aircraft to jointly develop and manufacture engines. In 2021, Rolls-Royce first indicated a desire to create an engine for AMCA. According to reports, Rolls-Royce has a Eurojet EJ200 variant with a 110-120 kN thrust. If the two parties' negotiations are successful, Rolls-Royce and DRDO may form a joint venture. Consider building a 110 kN high-thrust low-bypass engine, with the intellectual property rights going to Indian manufacturers. Number 3, Safran Engines from France. Long-time partners Safran and Indian HAL worked together to build the multi-role helicopter engine that propelled the country's Prachan chopper. Safran is prepared to collaborate with India to manufacture the AMCA engine and has agreed to all the terms and conditions outlined by that country. A proposal to jointly develop a brand new cutting-edge 110 kN thrust engine for India's AMCA fighter project with the DRDO's gas turbine research establishment has also been received by the Indian government from the French company Safran. 
Like its rival in Europe, Rolls-Royce, Safran has an interest in the result. It played a big role in the 36 Rafales that India bought in 2016. The M88 engine base type serves as the foundation for the joint venture between Safran and DRDO, which is planned with full transfer of technology. According to the most recent developments, the AMCA will have the newest technologies, including powerful weaponry systems, AI voice commands, and advanced technology. Therefore, the engine of the aeroplane is important since without it, it cannot mark or use its fighting strength. The company that can accept the conditions like technology transfer and future assistance for aircraft engine maintenance, as well as export rights for AMCA aircraft, should be chosen after taking into account all of the pros and cons of the three engine manufacturers. If all the requirements are met, HAL will decide which employer to offer to produce the AMCA engine. What do you think of the AMCA aircraft? Which manufacturer's engine would be appropriate for this fifth-generation fighter aircraft? Tell us in the comments section below.